Hello everyone, it's Muriel and I just wanted to welcome you guys, say hello and welcome my friends and tell you that I have kicked off my Christmas in July series today. I would have come on yesterday but we've just been so, so busy. So I got in here today and what I want to do today is just pull out some things that I know for sure that I'm going to use. Uh, with my Christmas projects. I don't have this curated for Christmas, but just to give you a sense and um, some direction on my thought plan, I've been um, looking at lots of magazines. I have been back and forth on Pinterest since last year, just looking and thinking. Um, I've seen some projects that, um, tags that others have made that I, that I kind of like. I thought all the stuff that I have I need to use what's here so I just wanted to um, give you a little insight into um, how my tags will be looking uh, this year I do plan on showing one um, Thursday and and what I'll do is I'll show one or or one uh, two of, of the same kind but then from now to Christmas, I'll just be making batches of them. I have probably about five different tags in my head. I don't want to um, do no more than that. Sometimes I just get overwhelmed. and But I also want to use up what I have. So keep that in mind because that's what you're going to see a lot of um, using what she has. So let me move this sign out the way. And just really quick, I don't want to keep you guys. I'm, I'm kind of ready to go to sleep. But um, one of the things I did pull out was some tags, right? Um, here are um, a pack that I did make a lot of last year. Uh, these are Merry and Bright tags. And I kind of did a little bit more to them than what they are. And it looks like I have about six left. So I do plan on uh, doing something fun with these. I pulled out these tags here. They have um, like dictionary words to them. And I also have, if you can see back here, a 12 by 12 pack of um, music note paper. So I kind of like print on the background of cards. So I pull those out. Hopefully I'll use them. I'm going to be uh, using standard craft uh, A number A size cards. I already have two tags. They're off behind me. Um, the um, things I'm putting on top are drying. I put some stickled on them, stickles on them. So I have these and this is a really good craft. Uh, basic uh, manila uh, tags. Um, I've had these red ones in my stash for a long time. They are from um, Owl and Thistle and they're red. So it's my hope to do something with one or two of those. This is I picked up at uh, Recollections. It is chipboard. Actually I think I got this at the Expo but it's heavy duty chipboard. So if there is a tag that I want to put a lot of embellishments on, um, do some um, gesso or anything like that um, I definitely have these to use and then just a few black ones right so that's all I'm going to be using with these tags um, this go round this month um, I did pick up a new die this is a, a little inker design die it has a holly and a Christmas tree on it I did order a die Santa's sleigh framelit dies from um, Stampin' Up. I picked this up over on Kimbo Creation Stampin' Up uh, site. And um, when it comes to edges and things like that with cards, which I'll probably make some as well, I'm going to be using these. This is Cutter Bees and it's just got some scalloped edge and a variety of different um, edges that I want to utilize. And then this is the new sticker book that I picked up at Tuesday morning some time ago because um, all the ones that I have, I've never seen it uh, holiday related. So this has a lot of uh, Christmas stickers on it. Um, it also has Halloween and it also has beach themes, but um, it can definitely come in handy when you just need to put something on the tag like this edge, uh, the border strips. Okay, so hopefully I can get to using some of these. I have these beautiful glassine music note envelopes that I've had for some time now and I was going to do some bag toppers with them and you can see on the inside I have some uh, ephemera in a lot of them. I kind of sat down and decided what I was going to use the bag topper 
uh, width and I put the pieces inside. So now I need to kind of um, get to thinking what the plan was and um, get busy on it. But these are really pretty and I love glassine, uh, altering glassine bags for Christmas. Um, I'm going to be using some, um, uh, what is this called? Stickles, which um, the holiday just needs sparkle to it. So pull those out. Um, the first two cards that I'm making, I'm actually using some grunge board. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of feeling Tim Holtz this Christmas, believe it or not. So you may see a lot of, of his things. But this is some grunge board that I picked up so, so, so long ago at Tuesday morning. And I still have all of it. Um, so here's that paper I was telling you about. This is just some um, music sheet paper. It's from the Merry and Bright um, collection. Uh, who is this? Mm -hmm. I just see Merry and Bright. Fan, um, fancy pants design so one side is the music sheet paper and the other side is just black right I picked this up a Tuesday morning some time ago for $3.99 I also thought about when I picked it up how pretty envelopes would look with this so we plan on using that um, I pulled out lots of my um, iris containers because they have a lot of um, um, wild flowers. These are the ones I usually use for the holidays. So I had some I see cut out in black and craft and then in here I have some cut out in green and then I was cutting out some dye downstairs. While my daughter was watching TV I pulled out some dyes and was cutting those. I just want to be ready when I need a leaf of any kind or some holly to uh, have that ready to go. Um, here is something that I picked up. I probably used two of them last year, but I want to kind of put these to use. These are the Tim Holtz chipboard, holiday chipboard, and they say lots of stuff. And um, I'll be putting these on some tags. So um, also my uh, glitter words, I have a few cut out. They may not be Christmas related, but um, I want to kind of use these up. Like this one here says Noel and it's all glittery and the other one says uh, thank you and imagine so when I can use one I will and if not then they'll just stay in here and then in this one here I have some Heidi Swap um, puppy stickers and I don't know how much of these I'll be using but like the word wish could be used um, I don't know about lucky joy could be used um, and then there's some heart and stars and the colors don't look Christmassy but if I can get two out of here then I'll feel like I've done something in terms of weeding down my stash. Uh, there's two dies that I will definitely be using for sure and I've begun working on this one here. This is the Tim Holtz um, packages and bow die. I've had this for so long and it was just recently when I saw a tag on Pinterest that I realized that this die I always thought it was one unit but it's actually one two three four five um, individual boxes that you cut out and bows. So and then this one here I think I picked this up last year and I used this one making tags but plan on using it a different way this year for sure. Um, I got some of these envelopes um, that I pulled out. I used a lot of these last year when I made my uh, envelope tags. I kind of like these. So there's a few glassine ones here. And then these um, back here were picked up from Michaels. And um, they're really cute. I'm just still thinking hard on how I can turn this into a tag. So wish me luck. Um, it's definitely maybe like a gift card holder, but I want to use them for tags, so I'm going to be pondering that. Um, and then there was this one here, shaped like a gingerbread house, and the back is blank. And um, there was in red, and then there was this one here, which is really cute. Uh, the Christmas um, car with the tree on top, and then the back is that of a postcard. And it does have a sticky um, thing where you can close it. So that's, um, I'm, I have these out so I can look at them. And every time I see them, my mind just wanders as to what can I do? So I pulled out, um, and I have many, but I pulled out some dies, Christmas um, stamps that I've had for a long time and have not used. Especially when I'm making my cards, I want to be able to stamp the inside. 
Here is a stamp set I won from May May Made It, and um, it was a giveaway, and I have yet to use it. And these are some uh, Hampton art. I pulled them out because uh, for the um, the words on them, all the ma different Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. So hopefully I could use these somehow. There's quite a bit. Um, and then my all-time favorite is my stamping up. Um, just to say, um, die um, stamps, and then some more hero art. So pull those out. This is it. If if it's not going to be on here, then I just don't have it. Uh, there's also a tag that I'll be making using these scraps from Graphic 45's um, 12 Days of Christmas uh, paper collection. I think this is a, a, all of the scraps that I have, and I do plan on using these. For a couple of different types of tags. Um, I pulled these out. These are from um, Michaels. I've had them forever. I can certainly use all of these words on here so I do plan on doing that. Um, these kind of fell in my lap and I thought okay well we'll figure out some way to use these on a card for sure. And then um, I, I bought these at a store called Ben Franklin some time ago. I love October afternoon, and these are some 4x6 uh, double-sided postcards that um, somehow I want to use. I think they're so pretty, whether I use them in the card, and I think that I have an idea for a card where I could um, use these, but they're just so pretty. So I have those out and um, like I said, everything will just stay on the table and as I uh, look at it, I'm hoping that inspiration just works for me. Um, I pulled out my Christmas 6x6 pads. Let me just push some of this down. And these pads um, are very old, but I am going to be putting them to use. These are probably... Um, all that I have, um, I think, if, if the rest will be 12 by 12. But there's some old ones. There's the Wonderland by Studio Calico. Um, this one here is Cray Paper Bundled Up. Uh, there's Merry and Bright. There's Christmas Noel. This is a really a nice um, holiday vintage pad. Um, it has various texture paper in here. You have the corrugated paper. Um, if you're making gingerbread houses, that would make a pretty roof or a pretty walkway. There's um, just a barn, just a brick. So I haven't d d dived in this one in a long time. There's even some from Target that I want to use. If I want to go blue, snowy, winter, icy, there's this pad from Recollection. Again, they're, they're old, but they still can work, right? They have they, a lot of them are the traditionals. Now here's one uh, that has the black in it, which is so so nice. I have um, silver and gold, so um, if I need some shimmer, I have that. Holly Jolly. Here's another Jolly. Look at this. I have a few sheets of this, and I just challenge myself. I don't know what I'll do with this, but if I want to do vintage, then I have a few sheets there. I even have some tired ass Martha Stewart. Oh, and then I have this beautiful um, um, bow bunny, which I've done projects with this. I, I love this color. I even have some Hilda Gilda Tilda. <laughs> uh, this was gifted to me, I believe, by Amador. So, we're going to use as much of this as we can, right? My use your six by six, give them one more chance video series. Um, I pulled out my Christmas washi tapes, right? These are all of them that I have. I plan on using these. And then lastly, I have these plastic um, containers and these house all the wooden pieces of Christmas stuff. So we have some reindeer, some trees, some mittens, uh, 25, uh, some Christmas bells. These are always good to put on those um, cards when you're doing woodland kind of theme. And then this one here is just, and it's so old, it's so cloudy looking too. I need to get a new one. Um, it's just full of uh, bells and um, felt hats and 
um, gingerbread men and pine cones and tags that I've been given from and labels from um, um, oh, I can't think of a name a Greenwood girl <laughs> Jill there we go it's 10 something so you know my brain starts to de degress then I have some charms in here that I'm going to be using on my tags beautiful Christmas trees and then some other little these are like ornaments but so um, hopefully I can put a small dent in this and um, use them when I create my Christmas cards my Christmas tags so again you guys thank you so much for tuning in I'm sorry I'm a day late but never um, mind that I'm going to be uh, busy creating again I'll you know tomorrow is Wednesday I have to work Thursday we're off so that's when I'm going to come in here and uh, get those two tags ready to show you as I start thinking of the next one that I'm going to show you the week after but um, I'm looking forward to this Christmas in July series and Jill is already got some beautiful snowman tags that she's been um, doing so you may want to jump over over to her channel Jill Norwood and um, I'll be just looking popping in to um, see what else you guys um, are starting and putting out there is just such a uh, good time to get a lot of Christmas stuff small stuff like this started right because once you start it then you're inspired throughout the remaining months to uh, keep it up keep it going and it also helps out if you're like Jill uh, who started us on this Christmas tag um, thing um, to get them going because I find that my list of people that I give tags to has grown tremendously and um you know you want to be able to share at least i know my thing i like to be able to share at least four or five with each person so the earlier i start the better so that's what my goal is going to be i'm also doing some um other things in between so with that i thank you guys again for watching um welcome again if you're new to my channel if you have any comments please leave them down below and i will again I'll uh, see you guys on my next video. Bye now.